hi it's future from soulmate welcome to my channel if you want to see how i make this buttoned up a line skirt with darts please stay tuned if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do and make sure to turn on your notification bell for more videos You will need your basic skirt block pattern to do this. I'll leave a link in the description below. So first starting with the front skirt, make sure to leave yourself some space in front of the center front like I've done here. So first, trace around your block making sure to mark your dart and the notches. Lift your block. Draw in your dart. Square in your hip line and square in your hemline. From the hemline, I'm going to shorten my skirt by 10 centimeters. Put a mark and square a straight line across. Now I'm adding my hem allowance, which is 1 centimeter. Extend the side seam out by 5 centimeters to make the A line silhouette. Connect this point to the hip line with a straight line. Now measure from the hip line to the hem line and transfer the same amount across to the slanted line. Put a mark and square line across. With your kef ruler, join this point back to the skirt hem. Now finishing off my hem allowance of 1 cm following through the kef line that we just drawn. So we went out 5 centimeters. Coming to the center front, we're going to add our button extension. I'll be using a button of 2 centimeters. So I'm just going to add 2 centimeters button extension there. Next, I'm going to be adding a facing. So I'm going to be using 4.5 centimeters because I'm going to be using horizontal button holes. So it's twice your button extension plus 0.5 centimeters extra. So mine is 4.5 centimeters. So I added 2 centimeters button extension plus 4.5 centimeters for the facing. Now adding my owl punch 1 centimeter up from the dart tip and adding my grain line parallel to the center front. Now labeling the pattern, front skirt, cut one pair and adding my notches to the skirt. Make sure to add your notches to the facing and center front. Now cut around your pattern. Now we're going to fold back our facing so that we get a good shaping at our waistline for the facing. Now cut around your pattern. So our front skirt is finished. Now we're moving on to the back. Trace around your block as usual, making sure to mark your dart and the notches. Lift your block, draw in your dart, square in your hip line and your hem line. Coming to the center back, we're going to trim off the 1.5 cm zipper extension that we have there because we're going to be putting our center back on fold. So I'm just outlining it and cancelling it out. So this is our center back. Now I'm shortening my skirt by 10 centimeters. Put a mark and square line across. Now adding a hem allowance of 1 centimeter and extending our side seam out by 5 centimeters like we did with the front. Transfer the hip to hem measurement to the slanted line again like we did with the front. And now finishing off my hem line following the curve that we drawn.
so we went five centimeters out so our center back is going to be on fold now adding my hour punch one centimeter up from the dart tip drawing in my grain line parallel to the center back and adding my notches for the skirt pattern now labeling the skirt back skirt cut one on fold and I put my initial next cut around the skirt and our back skirt pattern is finished now moving on to making the waistband patterns now starting with the back skirt pattern we're going to dress the top part of our waist not including the center back seam closing the dart out and finishing off the rest of the waistline including the side seam allowance next square a line up the center back like i'm doing here and we're going to measure up for seven centimeters which is five centimeters of our waistband width plus two centimeters of seam allowances both at the top and the bottom which is one centimeter both at the top and the bottom and square another line up the side seam adding my grain line which is parallel to the center back and labeling the pattern piece back west bend cut to unfold plus one fusing unfold cut around your pattern now for the front skirt we're just going to repeat the same thing from the center front to the first leg of the dart closing the dart out and finishing off the rest of the waistline including the seam allowance for the side seam going up seven centimeters and continuing up seven centimeters all along the line and squaring up the other end too Now we're going to add our button extension two centimeters plus a seam allowance at the end which is one centimeter for me. Labeling the pattern front waist bend, cut two pairs plus one pair fusing and I put my initial adding notches to the pattern adding my grain line parallel to the center front and cutting around the pattern our western patterns are finished now all our pattern pieces are finished next to moving on to sewing. Now moving on to sewing our A-line skirt, what you need are your completed patterns, your fabric, your buttons, and your usual cutting tools. So for the fabric, I'm using this beautiful corduroy fabric. Now let's move on to cutting. So all our pattern pieces are cut and ready to sew. So the first step is to interface all the pieces that need interfacing. So as you can see, we've got two sets of our waistband pieces and we're going to go ahead and interface one of it. Okay. Then for our front skirt pieces, we're going to just interface on the facing section just here. Okay. Let's go and do that okay now so we've applied our interfacing now i'm gonna put the front skirts on the side for now get the waistband pieces and put them on the table right sides facing 
matching your side seam. Pin along the side seams for both. So we're going to take this to the sewing machine and we're going to sew along the side seams. When we finish with that, we're going to take the interfaced one and we're going to go ahead and overlock all the way down this bottom edge, okay? we put this on the side and we're gonna go ahead and take both our front and back skirt pieces and we're gonna go ahead and sew on our darts. Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, now so we finished sewing on all our darts and we finished sewing the facing pieces as well and we went ahead and overlocked the bottom edge of the interfaced one. So we're going to put the waistband pieces on the side for now and we're going to go ahead and get our front skirt pieces. So what we're going to do is to take them to the stager and we're going to overlock this whole front edge here for both. Okay, let's go and do that. Okay, so we've done that and now we're going to go to our iron and using the notches that we have there, we're going to fold the facing back into the skirt and we're going to iron everything nice and flat. Let's go and do that for both pieces. Okay, so this is how it looks from the inside. So we're going to go ahead and flip it to the right side and we're going to take this to the sewing machine and we're going to give it a top stitching starting with the one from the edge, 0.5 millimeters all the way to the top. And we're gonna come to here you can feel where your overlocked edge is and go like five millimeters in and we're gonna sew from the bottom all the way to the top let's go ahead and do that for both pieces okay now so that's done and it's looking nice and neat and this is how it looks from the inside okay so we're gonna put this on the side get our back skirt piece and lay it on the table with the right side facing up Get both your front skirt pieces and lay them on top of it with the right side facing down, matching your side seams. Now go ahead and pin along the side seams, matching all your notches. Okay, now take this to the sewing machine and sew along the side seams. When we finish that, we're going to hem our skirt. So we're going to go ahead and overlock right around the whole edge. And we're going to turn the hem one centimeter up. And we're going to do a top stitching at one centimeter right round. Let's go and do that. Okay, so we've done that. We went ahead and drained our side seams and overlocked them. And went ahead and finished off our hem. And I also managed to iron everything down nicely so i'm going to put this on the side now get your western pieces both your interfaced and the uninterfaced one and we're going to lay them on the table right side facing matching our waistline in along the west edge here Okay, now so we're gonna go ahead and sew this on the sewing machine with a one centimeter seam allowance. When we finish that, we're going to understitch our waistband. So get the interface side and just flip it over the seam that you have sewn here. Then go ahead and give it an edge stitching here just to attach this interface side to the seam allowance. Okay, let's go and do that. Now get your sketch and lay it on the table with the right side facing up. Next, get your waistband piece and we're going to align the outer edge here of our waistband to the skirt. Align the uninterfaced side to the skirt top, right side facing, matching our side seams, okay? Make sure you leave your one centimeter seam allowance overlapping at the edge here, okay? And pin along the whole waistline. Now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and sew along this seam here with a one centimeter seam allowance. Let's go and do that. 
okay now so i've sewn the waistband on and i also made sure to iron my seam facing upwards because at the end we're going to be covering it with this facing piece like this okay now get the end of your waistband like this and just fold it back on itself along the stitching line that we just made then we're gonna take this to the sewing machine and just sew with a one centimeter seam allowance from the fold line to the stitching here do that to both sides let's do that okay so we've done that and now i'm just gonna trim the corners here next we're going to turn our corners to the right side Next, make sure that you're going to cover this seam. Make sure it's facing up. Cover it with your waistband like this. If you like, you can pin along the whole waistline so that the waistband doesn't turn on you when you are sewing. And then we're gonna go ahead and give it a de-stitching. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and finish off our waistband. You can either do top stitching right round or you can just do ditch stitching from the right side, making sure that you catch this at the back and covering this inside like this. So just choose whichever method is easier for you. Okay, now so we finished sewing on our waistband and it's looking nice and neat so the final step is for us to sew our buttons and button holes so for ladies it's right over left like this so we're going to go on and sew our buttons to the left and our button holes to the right let's go and do that okay so we finished sewing on our buttons and button holes for our a-line skirt and our skirt is finished and I'm happy with the result. Thank you.